Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the autosomal DNA predicted phenotype traits and GD match results of a Sarmatian individual from the Caucasus. Um, this is what he is predicted to look like with Manasha Kot. He is predicted to have either blue eyes with an amber center or hazel eyes, uh, Greek shaped nose and either blonde or brown hair. Uh, Ysek gave him a really funny prediction. Don't really worry about it, Ysek is just really terrible at uh, predicting phenotype with incomplete coverage files. He is predicted to have white skin with snipper free. He's got some genotypes for <coughs> darker pigmentation, but uh, it's impossible to determine his status for BH1234, which means the eye color prediction is pretty poor here. He's got uh, CC genotype in this variation of DRD2, which means a normal amount of D2 dopamine receptors, not an increased risk of alcoholism and he's got actually CC genotype in this variation of ACT1 which is kind of counterintuitive because you would expect somebody from the step to have lower odds of psychosis caused by cannabis smoking because you know people in the step have been smoking cannabis since like forever um, now moving on to the methylation panel it's actually highlighting his um, AA genotype is very atypical here in COMT uh, which means he's a warrior met met genotype uh, advantage in memory and attention tasks as you can see from the screen basically what this warrior genotype means is that he would have a slower reuptake of dopamine which means more dopamine building, building up in his system uh, it's a pretty typical genotype for Europeans and quite atypical for everybody outside of Europe he most likely did not have the European lactose persistence mutation. Once again, I deter determined this from imputing his genotype. <clears throat> and um, most likely did not have East Asian, most likely did not have East Asian derived EDAR. Uh, his genotype in this variation of EDAR is very stereotypically European. Moving on to GD match, this is what he scores of the Eurogenes K13. Even though this individual is from the Caucasus, he's actually a very typical Sarmatian. Like, this isn't that different from Sarmatians from the Urals or Sarmatians from the Pontic Caspian Steppe. He's getting more as a mixture of Erzia plus Baloch or some kind of Northeast European plus uh, South Central Asians. And with G25, we see more of the same. With G25, he's getting more as a mixture of Tajik plus Finnish and Udmurt. Uh, so, actually, Actually, actually more Tajik than Finnish and Udmurt. So you see 60% Tajik plus 40% other North Northeast European stuff. This is what he scores with Harappa World and actually I'm thinking maybe this individual is not such a typical Sarmatian because he's scoring 13.5% Caucasian. It's kind of high. It's kind of on the high side for Sarmatian. So I'm thinking he does have some Caucasus admixture after all. Uh, still getting modeled as a mixture of Mardvin plus Baloch, uh, Mardvin plus Makrani, typical stuff for any Sarmatian. And with Pan DNA LK10, uh, he is scoring 16% ENF, which is kind of interesting, and 13% Beringian. So Beringian is kind of this East Asian component that he's got. He does have some East Asian admixture too. The thing about this ENF component, and I've been paying attention to the South Asian and Caucasus, but I should be paying attention to the Anatolian Neolithic component here. This is a lot of Anatolian Neolithic for somebody... Uh, that's a Sarmatian, a lot. And I'm thinking that this Anatolian Neolithic they got from mixing with native Caucasians. That's my explanation for this. He's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Tajik plus English or Tajik plus Irish. Uh, once again, he's scoring English and Irish precisely because of the Anatolian Neolithic component. This is his result with MDLPK16. He's scoring 31% Caucasian and it seems that pretty much all the pointers point to him having some kind of native Caucasus admixture, some kind of, I don't know, Chechen or whoever lives in that area, he's got some native Caucasus admixture. That's what it seems like to me. Uh, with the Oracle, he's getting modeled as a mixture of Yagnobi plus various North Europeans. This is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. Interesting that he doesn't score any East Asian here. I wonder what's the reason behind this. Um, with the Oracle, he is closest to Pashtuns and Tajiks and Lesgin. Lesgin actually come at number 3, so he is quite similar to Lesgin too. But he's getting modeled as a mixture of Baloch plus... It seems a mixture of Baloch plus some kind of European hunter-gatherers is what he's getting modeled as. Uh, there's also Iranian Maz Mazandarani. That's the very last line. Iranian Mazandarani plus Step in Neolithic. And uh, this is what he scores with Gidrosia K3. Pretty much, it seems 7 eighths uh, West Eurasian and 1 eighth East Eurasian is his ancestry. Thanks for watching my video until the end. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. You can download the sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description.